Hey, listen up. You could go listen to the same old boring radio. You know, the same five songs 50 million times a day. You could zone out to your favorite MP3. Till can't get that ringing out of my head. I'm sure you heard all the drone podcast mumbo jumbo. I'm here to do my radio show. Don't you deserve more for your hard-earned money? On Teal Time Radio, you get entertainment value. We take pride in our shows and don't release junk. You won't find anywhere else. So if you're a diehard Jags fan like me, or a reality TV nut like my old lady, or a non-stop gamer like my son, you want the best entertainment your money can buy. Heck yeah! So give us a chance. We will make you laugh yourself right off of your chair. And isn't that what life is about? Having a good time listening to something you love? So sit back, relax, and have a cold one. And be sure to join us on Teal Time Radio, the only Wizard Media podcast app that really knocks your socks off. New stuff added nearly every day. Check back often. Guaranteed you won't find more content anywhere for under two bucks. You are now listening to Teal Time Radio. And on today's uh, show, I want to talk about this great game. Now, it's a turn-based game. Which means it's a web-based game. There's not huge, you know, great graphics or anything. But it's called GangsterBigHouse.com. Now, it's basically uh, a mafia-type turn-based game. If you ever played a turn-based game, basically you wait on, you wait a certain amount of time, and it gives you a certain amount of turn. Now, unlike other turn-based games or web-based games that are out there, the difference with this one is that you are allowed two accounts per household. In other games, you're allowed one, and then if you get caught with one more than one, you're out of here. You know your band or put in a lot of money they may keep you around but that's not fair to everybody else and ultimately you're only cheating yourself anyway so anyway why do i want to talk about this game well i've been a player of this game for five years now now if you look at my profile i go as uh the name jada on here you know though uh some times i like to switch uh comic names which every 10 days you can switch your comic name to whatever you like and it's absolutely awesome now i've been playing this game for five years even though it tells me four years on here so they need to update a little bit but the admins are the coolest group of admins ever and as long as you're 18 with the rule state that you have to be 18 if you're not it's not like uh, they can really check but at the same time if you're under 18 you shouldn't be on anything that says you have to be at least 18 uh, that's my view anyway on it but anyway you, like I said you can have two accounts it basically means you can do whatever you want with the two accounts if you want to collect with one and then loot yourself with the other which I kind of think is pointless but there's reason for it then you're allowed to if that's your thing but the fact of two accounts per household is awesome because if you have an old lady or somebody else in the house that wants to play you both can play or if you don't and you just want to play as two people you can do that as well and the thing about this game is they're not big on you have to buy they actually have a hundred dollar you know it starts at uh, for a progressive cash jackpot starts a hundred dollars and you don't have to put in anything to win the jackpot you just have to go up to the red tier which somebody you could have somebody red if they're you know stupid enough you know send you a dollar and then if you're smart enough you can win a hundred dollars jackpot i don't know another game that you can do it as a free player but it can be done i have seen it be done is it hard yes very hard very difficult but it can be done so anyway when you first register you go in you do the registration process you go to the main screen you pick your convict name it could be anything i mean as long as it's not absurd like no one wants to see black panthers or ku klux klan because it just doesn't make any sense no disrespect to either of the gangs and i understand it's prison but you have to you know be smart about it, you know? So anyway, then pick your prison. And normally it's Sing Sing, San Quentin, Pelican Bay, and Folsom. And let's see here. Let's look at the other one. Uh, in this round we have Juan Lisso. But that other prison uh, normally changes from round to round. And you have Adam. So let's just say you just start out in the game. 
and you pick your name and you go to the home so now you're on the home screen wondering what you're going to do now when you're on the home screen you have all these wonderful facts that the great admins who spend their harder time and so much you know goes into this game that they created a whole facts list tells you about your second account your assets your attacks your bank your bookmark buying you know what happens during a cap round what are carts used for how do you collect what do you need drugs for you know your defensive unit your hiring your infirmary what happens the last hour the medal you get for being a supporter a bunch of other different medal uh, your network what the notepad does you know your operative happiness uh, talked about the prisons and the protection and the rankings and that you could become a rapid killer excuse me and tells you how to use your reserves and what you need to do to sell and what's great they have a spam filter so if anyone you know tells you about any other games or really ticks you off uh, trying to sell you things you can just put bam filter on and you're good to go in this game you have tattoos and basically what they do uh, is they make your guys appear stronger than they actually are so on the screen it will say you have 120 say 120,000 units and reality you have 70,000 but from what they're seeing it's 120 those figures are maybe a little off but you get the point uh you know you can transfer money as i explained before if somebody gives you a dollar of any kind you move up to the tier however you can't move back to the tiers of course you can travel and you've got travel items you have turns and what i like about this is you can use uh mostly any YouTube video on your profile so you could you know use that just about any picture on the web as well as you know if you don't want to go the pick way you can you know just use a link from my uh, YouTube and I thought that was pretty cool I we were the first family years ago to do it as an entire family it was a big deal then unfortunately right now it's not but hey you also have a thing called a wall and on the wall you could you can go to somebody's profile and on their profile you click on their wall and you could Attach photos or talk crap to them, and it's awesome. So, anyway, we go to the home screen, and you also see that they've got many different guides. And you could even buy a t shirt if you wanted to on the game. You can find them on Facebook, and they're also on Twitter. And that's awesome that you know that they offer all that. Most games really don't care about the players. This game has always cared about the players. The player ship has dwindled big time in the last uh, year, but it's just due to you know people getting tired people moving on you know supporters overstepping their boundaries but it happens in any game but for the most part this is a very fun game uh there's a bunch of tutorials when you come in you can you look at the player's guide for the new players for the mafia players of course they got the privacy policy and the terms of use and the rules and you can contact them too if you'd like so if they're online you could easily talk to them now you go from the home screen you're over to the attack screen you can pick as long as you're in the same prison, you could pick the person that's in your net range. You can go two times, no, four times up or halfway down. So as long as your net and their net isn't over four times up, then you can attack. However, if they got more units than you, that's just stupid. Unless you use meth. Meth uh, increases your punch power. It's an awesome thing, as well as you can use carts. Carts basically block, block uh, you know, the, your defenses and whatnot so you don't lose so many people and then you have mouth so you pound so bang and then you covered right so it's kind of like you're in uh let's see a mixture of like a fighting game and like a call of duty or a gears of war but of course the graphics isn't like that this is just tech but you get the hint here so from there we go to the higher screen on the higher screen you can hire sissies you can hire your hustlers you can hire your bullies heavies and 5150 5150s are the crazy guys you don't want to mess with and the bullies are the you know uh, uh the weak the weakling and the heavy is a mixture of the two and the best bet is uh, for hiring if you're going to collect would be using hustlers if you don't have a lot of turns then it's uh, using sis and for attacking it's best to use them all if you use only bullies and somebody comes up with you uh, with more 
5150s. They'll destroy you as long as they have. They must have booze. It's part of the game. Must have booze. You know, they make sure your guys are well and must have, you know, met to increase the, you know, hit points. So anyway, um, the collect, of course, you can collect with your sissies and hustlers. And a big thing is if you collect and you're new to the game, when you're collecting, if you're trying to destroy your men, you set your payout on the higher screen to 1 or 0 percent. Hit the set payout and then collect. You can collect up to 9,999 turns, what they allow. And then when you do that, if you collect a big amount, it will wipe out all your guys. So somebody else can't wipe them out as far as your operative. thought that's pretty cool and whatnot, and it's a quick way to collect cash. However, you can only uh, put a certain amount in your mattress, and the rest will just be burned. You only get a percentage of it. But it's better than nothing, right? So we move on to the market. In the market, you've got your chronic, you've got your cigarettes, you've got your meth, you've got your booze. For weapons, you have razors, pipes, shanks, and gas cans. Of course, you're not going to go to a gas fight with the razor. That would be stupid. Alright. And you have your library carts and your food cart. Library carts offer some protection. Food carts offer a lot more. I don't really use any of them but they're there. And some people do use them and they do come in handy. I just think it's a waste of time. But that's just me. Okay and then you have your fake IDs and you have your guard uniforms. Your guard uniforms are absolutely fantastic. I love that element because when you travel it basically means for each guard uniform you have it's less money you have to put out the travel. So if you're full of guard uniforms and know what you're doing and can hop scots from prison to prison, even though it's not in real life because they just corner you in real life, but eh, it's a game. What do you expect? You know, um, as long as you can do that, you use your guard uniforms, you're good. Hit them, move back. You're good. Sell your stuff. You're good. All right, from there, you've got your tattoos. I've already explained what they do, so we'll move on. Of course, you can buy your drugs and your weapons and parts and your travel, and you could sell them and you can trade your weapons at any point. Trading weapons is good if you've got a lot of guys, but, you know, lack of weapons without collecting more cash. You can get more weapons there, do less damage, but, hey, what do you expect for nothing? Your money back, you know? All right. From there, we will talk about going to your traveling, which basically travel, you just either you have the money you collect and you switch prison, or you can visit your infirmary. That means that for each wounded guy you have, it costs 45,000 to take them out of the infirmary. Basically what happens is as long as you're not attacking other people and somebody just attacks you randomly and you're not online, you only lose half, half your men. The rest go to the hospital. And of course, as long as you have money to pay, bail them out from the hospital, that's an awful high hospital bill, but nonetheless, then you're good. You're good to go. And it helps at the end because it helps with the net. The net matters everything in this game. All right. From there we go to the mattress. As I explained, you can only use a certain percent as far as, uh, you know, hiding. But uh, cash and merchandise and everything. But you can sell your merchandise, which is nice for cash. But you can only hide 15% in your mattress. The rest you have to burn. And if you get caught red-handed, well, no way. No, you can also transfer, but I explained that before. Uh, everything's based on tiers. You've got your white tier, your black your black tier, your white tier, your blue tier, your green tier, and your red tier. And once you change to that tier, you're eligible for that prize. Which, and everything but red is just turned. But it's cool you know, that you have that chance to have the turn. All right, from there, we go to the help screen, which is on the bottom, which also has all the tutorial. Who's online basically states who else is out on the cell right now that you can BS with or attack if you want some live action. And then we can go find, if you're looking for a certain gang or a topic, you put in their name or the first three letters, and you should be good because you can just put that in the container field rather than a matching. And then I might pro Profile, I've explained that, but I must add that you get your supporter medal once you have at least a year of service. Plus, you've got other cool medals like uh, most attacking round, most cash and uh, merchandise stolen from others, you know, and then you have your negative ones like victim of largest number of attacks, looted out of most cash and merchandise, lost most people during the attacks, and they have the numbers. If I buy them. The other medals that are there are current top kills for the round and lost most people during the attack and uh, rapid killer 
Okay, so that's the first five people. The 50,000 uh, turn volume and kills. And it was only allowed five, so it's really a challenge. Pretty awesome there. You know, you can go on the wall, which I've already stated what that does. So check on your own profile, and then you go to the gang. You can create a gang. You can add uh, an avatar or an icon, or you can also do the video, as I explained before. You can uh, hire, you know, as far as recruiting people to your gang. Though, I, when you first start out, I would recommend joining a gang and not just be a lone wolf. You know, there's tons of people that do that. Uh, in order to get any turns from a gang, you gotta have at least 11 members. It's just been the same thing for like ever, so it helps that friend. And then you got your mailbox. You can look at your messages in, you can send messages out, you can look at your transfers in and out. And if somebody hits you, you can see that and your revenge is in and your revenge is out. And then you can look at your attack as well. And then what's cool about this game is you can add people to your contact list, but you also have a bitches list. Now on a bitches list, it it means absolutely nothing except for you mark them as your bitch. That's just the reality of it, on element of it, and it's cool as hell. Alright, now on the board, you've got the recruiting board, which you can place a recruiting ad, which uh, there's so many people that are set on their teams and their ways nowadays that you don't really see people on recruiting, but it's nice to have there. And it's also nice if you're starting out and you've got friends, I mean actual friends that you want to invite the game or want to get your, you know, feet wet and and try the new boss that's awesome and then you've got the uh, public chat which basically tells the whole world what you're thinking at that time of course it's only text but in a turn-based game it's pretty nice you could talk all kinds of smack you could swear nobody really cries about it and, uh, I mean other than maybe other members but if you're allowed to you're basically allowed so much freedom as long as you're not stupid as far as uh, names and you're not personal calling somebody out. If you're calling a convict name out, that's cool. But if you're calling Joe Smith over on Pennsylvania out, yeah, that can cause issues because, you know, there's anything that results in violence that ends up, you know, as far as somebody getting hurt, the law could get involved, even though it's online. It is what it is. And then you got your ranks. They give the prison ranks, the gang ranks, the metal ranks, and the global ranks. And then you've got your prizes, as I stated before. As a free player, you could win the jackpot, which is at least $100. Finally and likely, because for one, you got to outsmart people. For two, the team credit high, uh, you've got to put in at least 150000 which you can get from gang rankings and also, you know, winning a tier. But once again, highly unlikely, but good thing to go for if you're actually become involved in the game. And then you've got your super max tier, which is your green. Uh, you can win anywhere from uh, 200k down to 10,000. They've, they've all got a top three. And then on your maximum security, which is your blue, you can win 150000 credit and then on your white you can win a hundred thousand credits and then on the black which means you redeem no credits during the round you just figure to wait out smart people or you know work with other people to out smart people uh seventy five thousand which ain't bad plus you've got you know based on where you end up you can get anywhere from twenty five hundred to forty thousand credits as long as you have a gang of eleven and the main the main reason why uh I play this game is basically bored they're not you know on you know the actual gaming system Systems, they just want to relax the game, which is very easy to play with Gangster Big House. But yet, it's very hard to master. Some people like the art of chess, but they like the art of chess. They like to come on here and, you know, outmark people or, you know, play with their mind or, you know, have fun. That's what the game's about. Like admin, hold on, it's a lot time. Have fun. You know, this game was created because there were other games out there that like to cheat. And this game was made for the little. However, there are supporters that do try to run people off. But it, like I said, it happens in every game. But this is an awesome game to try out if you you haven't. As long as you don't create more than two people in the whole household. That doesn't mean two per computer. That means one. If you have two computers, one on each. You know, um, that's, you know, a great game to play. Great game for couples to play. You know, the husband and the wife, the brother and the sister, two brothers. I mean, whatever cases. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to, you know, tell you. Um, every round you get, if you come on the beginning of the round and you build up one turn, you collect, uh, one turn or higher one turn, you get 25 thousand you know reserve turns and then if you have any credits that I explained before you get that too which ain't bad for you know a little mafia game well prison game but based on uh, the mafia and from time to time they do have special offers and they do offer you know referrals you get a few turns for referring somebody but it's gotta be an actual person you can't keep on referring yourself because you're only gonna get banned that way um they're very smart on banned but they're not they don't like go overboard 
unless you go overboard. I mean, it's simple as that. And the thing I like is if you do choose to buy in and you want to be a driver, both your player as a special they have on going on right now, both receive that. So unlike other games where you put in for one and then you get stuck with that one, you get, you know, the extra advantage having two because I support. And you could also buy turns as well. And when you buy turns, you can use them whenever you're not. Yeah, whenever you're not. <laughs> whenever you want. There is no set time. There's no set period. There's no set round. Like some games will play and they'll force you to use it in two rounds or three rounds. This one says you can stock up as long as you like, as long as you buy them. If you win them, you either got to use them this round or the following round. But as long as you buy them, have them sit there. You can wait till a jackpot goes for $600 and then use them then if you want to try. So ultimately, why I love this game, you could talk smack whenever you want. Nice and relaxing. People can get on your nerve, but if that's if you let word get on your nerves, you know. Um, it's like chess and checkers combined. You've got to have skill, but yes, you can figure things out with ease. And it's just different. It's just a different environment. Once you get a part of the whole community, you get to understand things and you understand. You know, as far as communities, it's one of the best for the game. Not everybody's going to try to, you know, screw you over, but there will be some people that will. You know, there's plenty of people, if you ask for help, that will help you learn the game. And if you're willing to listen, we'll actually train you. And not just all about me, like a lot of other games. I wish lately that the, you know, uh, base hasn't dwindled. Uh, the base has dwindled. I think there's like around 100 and something people now. There used to be 500, you know, around. But it happens over time. People move on. I mean, it is what it is. You know, I'm sure I scared off a few people as well. Or, you know, ticked them off. <laughs> it is what it is, right? So anyway, that's my review on uh, Gangster Big House. It's an awesome game. You should try it out. You should uh, check it out. It's on, um, on my RTillTimeRadio.com site. It's under Check This. It brings you right to the site. Or you can just, you know, put in GangsterBigHouse.com. It's a lot of fun. As long as you're not cheating, it's cool. There's many people that will help you out. It don't matter what country you come from or where. If you like games that are turn-based and web-based games, and you like things that make you think, but yet are easy to, you know, figure out in the beginning, then you definitely should check this out. If not, if it's not your cup of tea, well, oh well. Can't please them all. Thank you for your time. You were listening to Teal Time Radio. CT Jack. Good night.